If you're trying to figure out how to add the cute color outline around images that look something like this, and you wanna use Canva to do it, then you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com, and on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So sometimes on my channel, I dive into some Canva tips and tricks because I'm in business, I'm creating graphics, I'm learning stuff, and I wanna share them with you. So let's just kick it into the tutorial and I'll show you how to add that outline to your images. It's easy, it's breezy, it's simple, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do when you log into Canva, if you're not already a Canva user, just go to canva.com. They do have a free version. What I'm gonna show you in Canva specifically is going to require a pro version, but I have some tips if you just are using the free version. So if you're not already signed up, you can go to canva.com or you can click the lovely affiliate link in the video description box below. But essentially what you're gonna do is open up a new design here and then you're gonna head over to your uploads folder. You can click the upload file or just drag the image that you want to be able to create that outline around. So I just got some new brand photos done. So we're going to go ahead and play with this one. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove the background. So we're going to click this BG remover option right here. But notice that it's got that little crown icon. So in order to use this tool, you have to have a Canva Pro account in order to remove the background of a photo within Canva itself. But if you have a free account. I actually just published on my YouTube channel not too long ago, two months ago at the time of this recording. I recorded a video that walks you through right here three ways to remove the background of a photo. So there are free options in there. If you do that, you can use a free tool, remove the background of the photo, and then just upload the PNG transparent version of that photo to Canva itself. And so you'll essentially skip this process here. But all in all, we want the background removed, okay? And then I am going to make this image smaller because I don't want the desk popping up there. So we're just going to customize it right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click edit right up there. And then we're going to go under effects, click shadows, and then we are going to choose the outline shadow, scroll down, and then you'll be able to choose your color. So to be honest, I'm not sure why your brand color palette doesn't pop up when you choose this, but it doesn't. So you're going to have to snag the hex code of your brand color or whatever color you want, and then paste it right in there or you can obviously use this color chooser in here and then you can mess with the size of it that looks ridiculous to me I like it a little bit smaller there and then you can choose the intensity it can be a little bit more muted if you'd like so you can go through you can have fun with it you can change the background color of this image specifically to make it really pop off of the page I'm going to actually go ahead and delete that but once you're ready to export you can click share in the top right hand corner go ahead and click download make sure you're only choosing the page that you actually want to export I have a whole bunch in here and then if you want this white background here to actually be transparent you can click the transparent background option here that is a pro version of the tool so if you're using the free version you might have to go back to that background remover tool that you used in the beginning and kind of use that again to remove remove the white background here. So hopefully that helps. I love adding this like little pop of color to the outline of photos. As you can see, I've done it with a lot of my brand photos here. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore 
hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any comments or any suggestions from videos, please leave a comment below the video. I use your comments, your feedback, and your suggestions to inspire new videos on the channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.